Hello everyone. Um, welcome back to Armored Warfare. Today I'm going to be playing the PT-76. Now, um, I've tried to record this video a lot of times. I believe this is number six. Attempt number six. And why is it attempt number six? Because every time I recorded the video, uh, I either didn't like it or the audio did not work. And so, now I'm going to do it again! Um, but this time I'm pretty sure I fixed all the uh, issues with the audio. So the PT-76 is the tier 1 for the Shishkin Dealer. This guy. Shishkin Dealer. He's, uh, what's his motto again? Uh, let's click off of that. Strength through endurance. There you go. Wolfie's think then act and Zhang, which is the new dealer, is invest your tools. They will give your work longevity. Ooh. Um, Zhang doesn't actually have a tier one, so I can't really do a review on his tier one because he doesn't have one. Shishkin does though. It's the PT76. Uh, not really going to compare it to Wolfie's Tier 1 because um, there's not really a point. Um, the PT-76 has better turret armor. It's got 20 millimeters in the front of the turret, 16 at the side, and 10 at the rear. That's for the turret. The hull armor has 13 in the front. 14 on the sides and 6 in the rear while the Wolfie's AFV uh, actually has 34 in the front 41 on the sides and 34 on the rear the only thing different is the turret which is basically 12 all the way around or 14 all the way around depending on what type of uh, ammunition is being fired at you uh, anyways, PT-76, um, I don't like it. Um, the reason why I don't like it is because it can't turn. Uh, the whole traverse speed is terrible. Turret traverse speed is terrible. Uh, the gun is actually okay. I like the gun. Uh, firing heat ammunition doing anywhere from 196 to 266 damage although most of the time you only do about 200 you low roll a lot with this tanks gun top speed is 36 kilometers per hour which can get up to 48 if you hit the um, light tank special which is five seconds of basically extra speed and maneuverability um, the gun is a D56 TM uh, is that correct? yes it is um, and basically because of this gun I was researching the PC-76 which I'll go into its history later but this is a normal PT-76 there was um, a PT-76 and then the other main one was the PT-76B and this is just the normal one, this isn't a B variant because the B had the uh, D-56TS gun while the normal one got the TM this fires up uh, HVAP rounds for 76 millimeter 150 mils of pen 1,500 meters per second speed, which is a lot faster than the speed of the heat rounds, which I use, which you can clearly see in the, probably in the footage that you will see of it. I don't know what footage I'll put in yet, because I'm just doing this all before I put in the gameplay at the end. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the history of this vehicle. Uh, it was of course, built by the uh, Soviet Union uh, following World War II because they needed an amphibious uh, light tank um, for reconnaissance and also some troop transport. Uh, it was uh, 
used in 25 countries in total after it entered service in August uh, 16th, 1951. It's still being used today, but they are no longer uh, being built. Uh, they produced about 12,000 uh, between the years 1951 and 1969. Uh, this thing's armor is not the best. Uh, the gun is actually really good. Uh, the D56T rifle tank gun series, 76.2 millimeter, is actually really good. Um, but the armor on the tank was only meant to stop small arms fire basically a 7.62 round anything uh, a 12.7 or 50 cal will go straight through the armor of this thing in 1957 uh, the D56T gun was replaced with the D56TM which is the gun that we use in game uh, right now that's what the normal PT-76 got and the uh, P-56B uh, was developed in 1959 and that's the one who got uh, s uh, the TS gun, the D-56 TS gun with uh, stabilization and CBRN protection but that's not what we have in the game. It saw combat in the Vietnam War uh, being used by the NVA um, against uh, Lang V Special Forces Camp in February uh, 1968 and they were also used in the Battle of Ban Huy San I believe that's what that nation is called basically 13 PT-76's with the NVA uh, 202nd Armored Regiment uh, attacked Green Berets and some South Vietnamese soldiers. PT-76s basically made quick work of them, although they did lose three PT-76s. Their first tank-to-tank -tank engagement uh, occurred in the mid-1968 uh, in mid when an American reconnaissance airplane saw a PT-76 being washed in the jungle and a M48 Patton, which is tier two in this in the armored warfare, which you will face while you play PVE missions, fired on it with three uh, 90 millimeter rounds. The Patton missed, except for the last round, which made the tank crew abandon the vehicle. And then an F4 Phantom came and bombed it because you need bombs to destroy something that a 20 millimeter cannon can take out. PG76. Uh, also took p part in the Battle of Ben Het, I believe that's what it's called, Ben Het. I, I don't know. Uh, it was March 3rd, 1969, and they were attacking Special Forces Camp, or a Special Forces Camp at Ben Het. And uh, the main task of these vehicle of the PT-76s, sorry, was to attack the camp's 175 millimeter self-propelled guns. But it didn't really work out the best. One of the PT-76s hit a landmine, which alerted the camp, uh, but also uh, made the other PT-76s start attacking the base. Since it was kind of hard to see the enemy, PT-76 was just kind of sitting there looking for muzzle flashes. And we saw a muzzle flash, sighted in on it, shot it, and it hit a turret of an M48 killing two crew members and wounding two more but a second Patton also saw the PT-76's muzzle flash and destroyed it with uh, their second shot uh, in the end um, at daybreak I should say because this is a night battle uh, there were two wrecked PT-76's and one BTR-50 uh, it's been destroyed. Uh, also in Vietnam, which I found was really interesting, was the PT-76 was, I believe, the the first victim of a TOW missile. Uh, TOW stands for Tube Launched Optically Tracked Wire Guided Missile. Um, some U.S. helicopters 
came in equipping the or equipped with the new BGM-71 tow anti-tank missile uh, and they were just flying around trying to find some enemy tanks to shoot at and uh, they found on May 9th 1972 um, MVA armored units attacking the Ranger camp at Ben Het and the tow team destroyed three PT-76's uh, on that day and then, a f well, basically at the end of May, May 26th, the MVA attempt to take the city of Contum, Contum, I believe that's what it's called. Um, and because the PT-76s were so far in the city, uh, U.S. forces couldn't actually use traditional airstrikes for fear of hitting friendlies. So the tow helicopters were sent in and they destroyed nine tanks and damaged one more and so basically they, the MVA lost ten tanks uh, five of them were PT-76's the damaged one was a PT-76 and four of the other nine that were destroyed were PT-76's uh, the PT-76 also saw combat with uh, the Indian forces in the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 and 1971 where the superior tactics of the Indian Army enabled the PT-76 to um, beat the superior Pakistani M24 Chaffees um, even though the PT-76 was outnumbered. Uh, the PT-76 also saw service uh, with the Egyptian Army during the Six Day War in 1967 which the Israeli army destroyed or, um, and also captured a few PT-76s. Um, and they also served during the Yom Kippur War in 1973 where they were used to uh, bring troops over the Great Bitter Lake. The PT-76 was used uh, during the Angolian Civil War which lasted from 1975 to 2002. They served during the Yugoslav Wars uh, and during the 10-day war in Slovenia and the Croatian War of Independence, all in the 1990s, I believe. Uh, the Indonesian Navy is the one that I found is currently using PT-76Bs uh, for basically dealing with rioters, uh, and they're still using them today. So I guess it's a pretty successful tank considering it was the kind of first amphibious design that the Soviets came up with and because it, uh, because of it it was uh, a really good basis for other tanks uh, f I did find uh, in the Soviet army it didn't actually last I think it lasted until about 1971 in the Russian army or sorry Soviet army because there was still the Soviet Union back there back there back then um, but it was replaced by the BMP-1 and I believe the BZM, which I don't think is in the game, or I, c I could be mistaken. Um, but anyways, let's, uh, let's look at the upgrades some more, as I showed you in the beginning. Uh, fully upgraded, you start off with the D-56T gun with 140 millimeters of penetration and 189 average damage with the stock ammunition um, actually is that the stock? yeah and then you get the upgraded ammunition which increases your penetration to 147 and damage to 199 that's uh, using AP as you can see then you get the D56TM which is still using the other ammo it uh, or the the up first upgraded ammo does exactly the same damage but I believe other than that it is pretty much the same vehicle or not, of course the same vehicle I mean same gun it's just the TM version instead of just the T and you get the upgraded uh, HVAP uh, ammo that has 150 millimeters of penetration 
with doing 203 average damage and a really, really uh, fast, uh, what was it called, um, shell velocity, there you go. The first engine, uh, you still have a max speed of 36 kilometers per hour, but your 0 to 32 kilometers per hour speed it takes you 5 seconds, uh, basically, to get up to that speed, where the upgraded engine um, it takes you 4 seconds. So that extra second taken off is actually really, really helpful. But the tank is still really slow and doesn't like the traverse. Technology! Uh, you unlock the stabilizer, the Zara stabilizer, which enhances accuracy on the move by 20%, which you can actually see in the game. Uh, then you get the gunner sight, which improves overall accuracy by 10%. So you basically have like a 30% increase um, while on the move. Uh, and then the Filtration ventilation system increases crew stats by two percent, and that that's it. No uh, armor upgrades, no retrofits. Don't really take consumables. Now I have heat loaded because um, you can't play PvP really. Yeah, see. You must have a vehicle of tier 3 or higher to play in this game mode. The reason why the developers don't want um, you to play PvP in tier 3 is because they don't want experienced players going uh, back to tier 1 and tier 2 and seal clubbing uh, like they can uh, do in World of Tanks. And the developers fear that if they did allow it, it would frustrate the new players, and then the new players would want to quit and not want to play anymore. So that's why they put it at tier 3, so you can unlock all your tanks and actually get a feel for how the game actually plays, or how to how to actually play the game before. Uh, I agree with it. It's actually a, a good idea, because uh, it's basically a tutorial uh, for your, the game. Anyways, let's uh, go into some battles. All right, we are uh, in a game, and hopefully this is recording. Now this is different because I have my audio set to record on something separate. Looks like one of ours. Keep moving. But I have pushed the talk on, so if I cut out, it's probably because I'm uh, using push the talk. I've unclicked the button. Wow, way to go! Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no. Not today. Not today. Last game I played, I lost because my team suicide run and also we had AFK uh, players. Uh, well, I mean, we had one AFK player who then went and suicided, and we had one guy who, uh, well, his game crashed. And so, that was a waste of ammo. If I keep, if I suddenly stop, it's also me, because uh, the key I have pushed to talk on is Alt, and every time I feel like I gotta move or something, uh, or like just talk, I let go of W. Oh my gosh, this thing's turn circle, it's like a bus. Right. Hey. Good job. We'll take that one out. Alright, you guys gonna get that one? Yeah, T-54's got it. Speed boost. Good job, we'll take that one out. 49, hey, new record on this tank. Normally it goes up to 48. Or 47. We have 911 damage. And I just alt-tabbed. Sorry. It's the problem with holding down alt for speaking, is that I'll alt-tab. Oh, I probably should aim. Perfect. 
person. What? That's not a critical? Alright, there we go. Damn, we're doing a lot of damage. Almost at 2k damage. Oh, earlier today I was playing my premium Leo 2AV from the ice pack that I didn't buy. But that was the April tank. Uh, I am a racked uh, M1 Abrams. Actually, I think it was the M1A2 Abrams, not the M1A1. M1 A2 for 1,100 damage. Don't miss. Okay, good. Oh, you probably heard my foot scrape some plastic tub tub that I have in my room. Identify. Oh. Come on, rotate. Aim, aim, fire. Uh, hip fire for days. Target locked. Let's go ahead and just lock. I missed. What? Oh, I thought he sunk through the ground. Boom. Got him. Alright, let's check the scoreboard. Alright, top on damage. I accidentally, uh... Okay, rotate the tank. Okay. I kind of, like, alt-tabbed and closed the game. But, uh, yeah. Well, we did good. 31 seconds, get them spawning. And we'll leave the cap. You gonna start spawning game? Yes, no? Apparently, they're not gonna spawn anymore. So I guess we'll just sit here. Or I might cut it until we get to the end. We'll see. If it cuts right now, that means uh, the game ended. Okay, um, yeah, no one spawned, so we capped out. Top of the team, almost 3k damage, uh, 19k credits, 812 uh, reputation, because I have a premium account. Alright, well, let's go back and, uh, or not go back, let's go to the next battle. Alright, we're in Operation Calvary. Uh, be prepared to listen to this guy talk for 10 seconds. Right about now. Loader, heat! Black Company, you're going up against the Lions of Neckwheel here. You've received intel that the area may be littered with SAM sites. If that's the case, our jets are in trouble. Awesome. tank. I'm going over here to kill these guys who spawn over here. Black Company, change of plans. Our planes need to get the intel from oh, their hard drive about the Lions. Heat. Find the plane. Get the intel and see if there are Ammo. any survivors. Corrected. Loader, heat. I had to lead oh. that guy because the heat rounds on this thing are really, really slow. Oh wait, that's right. They don't spawn until we're like halfway I across the oh. Awful, Never mind. Oh, he missed a Oh, that was a terrible shot. Ow! Tracks eight hit my shot. Ram that guy. Back up. Back up. Keep backing up. Oh, oh. Hit. hit that guy with a heat round. Target locked on. Or we'll lock on. Okay, go ahead and kill that guy. Alright, let us check the scoreboard. Top on damage. Careful in there, at the Lions of Neckwheel Town. So proceed with extreme caution. There's no telling what they might do. Oh, that shot was amazing. Alright, ready? Watch this. Target hit. Boom. Almost 500 damage right there. Oh, let's go with the auto arm. Uh, get the boost going. 
just so I can get over here faster. Take them all out. So I can go like this. Keep moving. Ow, 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 ow. That was kind of stupid. That guy's got 45 rounds of death. <laughs> he did 155 damage to me. I'm basically on half health. Almost. 420 is half health on this thing. Fire. Oh, nice, 2k damage. Come on, we gotta break three. There's 2k. There's 2.5k. There's 2 2 thirds k. Now this guy's about to pop up. Down. Go ahead and hit that guy. Let's follow this M48. Now I do believe I have a faster rate of fire. Identify. Awesome. Tank. Dang it. Right. 3K. We can get the 5K this game if we really wanted to. I bet you these guys are like, wow, this guy is really good. You must be a, a, new, a, a new player. Break some fruit. And... You want to do that again? Oh, I'm almost dead. Yeah, yeah, I gotta be careful now. Playing aggressive is not the best. I gotta stay alive. Stay alive. Okay, he's dead. Awesome. Let's go ahead and wait. Come on. Come out. Come out. Wherever you are. Almost at 4K. Again, almost at 4K. We've accessed the hard drive remotely, but need time to download the intel. Okay. Enemy destroyed. Dang it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, ow! Come on, gun depression. Oh no, time to go. Time to get out of there. 4K damage. Right. I forgot that there are guys who spawn up here. Oh no, back up, back up, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Oh, oh I bounced. My armor actually did something. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, nope! Nope, 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 no, thank you. Thank you, don't want to die today. Back up, back up, back up, back up. No! No! We were so close. Don't even know what that guy's doing. And we have an AFK. No! At least I took all the damage from my team. Alright, let's check the scoreboard one more time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna stay up top. Alright, time to skip to the end. Alright, uh, we won. Top on team, of course. <laughs> Too bad I died though. Um, still made 20k credits with premium account. Uh, yeah, that's the P26. It's probably been the hardest video I've had to make considering it's taken three days. Uh, because audio issues and finally getting good games. I uh, hope you uh, like this video and subscribe for more because there will be more because I have all these tanks to make videos on. Anyways, uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye.